Hi, I'm Nia Peoples, coming to you from Huntington Beach, California, Surf City, USA. For an event like Surfboards in the Sand, it's, it's incredibly important for me because it is my community. And, I mean, if you stop and think about it, the majority of the earth is, is made of water. It's ocean. So we've got to take care of that. Sometimes out where I live in Point Doom, I'll see Laird Hamilton. He'll be paddling by because he's always paddling, 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 and he's got his little earphones on. He, has, he carries a little pack with him, and in that pack sometimes will be garbage that he's picked up. I saw him one time in a baseball cap that had some funky emblem on it. I said, what are you doing with that hat? It was floating around in the ocean. He picks it up as he goes. And that's what we do. We take care of our own and we take care of, of our environment. And so this is a really important uh, thing to do. And it's, I applaud Huntington Beach for making this happen because this is what they need to do. Pull everybody together to get behind keeping all of this clean. And, and what better way to do it than bringing friends together who sometimes have known each other. Most of these guys have known each other for decades. And they just come back together in any part of the world. We'll be in Indo or they'll be in Australia or right here in Huntington Beach. We'll pull together and we'll make things happen. So I really applaud the city of Huntington Beach. My relationship with the surfing tribe, you know, I'm really, really lucky. Most people would think that that would have begun after having done the movie The North Shore 25 years ago when I was like two, right? No. <laughs> um, but oddly enough, it didn't because I was just an actress on that show who was being introduced to all these surfer dudes who happened to be in the movie. So that was a little experience that I had. But what did happen off of that is I met my husband, who is a lifelong surfer, Sam George. He was the editor of Surfer Magazine. He's written all the surf documentaries. He was a member of that tribe. And I have to say that it is one of the most phenomenal things I've ever experienced. Um, being an actor, I jump from set to set, from family to family. You know, you work really intensely with the people that you're with. You work 12, 15 hours a day. You get to know each other's families. You're working really hard side by side. And then when the show's over, you're done. And you move on to the next thing. And you can sometimes not see those people. For instance, Matt Adler, who starred in the North Shore, with me. I, I haven't seen him since we said rap. But the surf community, they will find each other at any break anywhere in the world and recognize each other right away. And they are there. If you need them, call them and they will be there. If, they, if you haven't seen them in five years, they'll be right there. It's one of the most phenomenal communities I've ever been involved in. So I'm really blessed to be a part of that. I, it's changed my life completely.